Hey, so today is the 14th and I am headed to my MRI for the minimally invasive gynecologic surgery. Surgery, that was a mouthful. So I am heading to have my MRI done this morning. Um, feeling a bit nervous. I think I shared with you all before that um, I had put off surgery for so long, hoping that something would change and nothing had really changed. I have been taking for the past, since September, Tegovit tea supplements. That's kind of it. I stopped taking other things outside of like vitamin C. So that's all I've been taking. Um, it is 32 degrees outside. I have a book because I've never done this before, so I'm not sure what to expect. And so, just walking on in. We're walking around. They're doing construction in the garage that I'm at. I'm at Wake Forest Baptist because that's what my insurance covers. So they say, <laughs> we shall see what happens. The anti socks. <laughs> this is a mess. Come on, I should wear a crown and a robe. Hmm. I feel like my grandma. Ready. All right, so I've just gotten out of my MRI. First time ever having one. I would not advise it. Get zero out of zero for me. Um, you I took notes before I went in. You uh, they put you in there, they elevate your legs. And Put your plugs in your ears and make sure your head's tight and you're just laying on your back. They put something on your knees. They give me a blanket, which is great. I'm cold natured. Um, and uh, slide on in. They kind of explain it. Um, now, I did not know. My doctor did not tell me before going in that I had to have an IV. And I had to have contrast. Well, contrast with the IV and a shot which was to slow down the function of my bowels. I didn't know that going into it. So, and I'm past, I'm skipping over parts just to being in the, in the tube is what I'll call it. The tech was fantastic. I get the shot, 
no biggie there. They slide you in. You kind of settle in best you can. And then you hear a series of sounds. At, point, at some point, I was like, this is like a disco beat, like a heavy, like, <laughs> R.E.M. beat. And I was like, oh, you can just move this beat. And so you just hear this all this stuff happening. And the what you're laying on warms. It was nice at first. And so then you hear the automated machine say, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, now hold your breath. That happened at least seven or eight times. Yeah, seven or eight times. Not the entire time, but you're sitting there lying flat, you're restricted, and it's breathe in, breathe out, hold your breath. You start really um, analyzing like how you breathe. So at one point, after the first round of breathe in, breathe out, I, um, pretty much was able to rest well but after like it had to be maybe 30 minutes I began to get restless and almost panic I said I couldn't imagine being like having being claustrophobic in there because and I could see out the back but I right when they pushed me in I said it's like going into a coffin like that's the only thing that I could imagine and I've actually laid inside of a coffin long story but I was like, this is what I would liken it to. It's dome shape, whatever. After 30 minutes, I had rested, kind of falling asleep. I start freaking out because, you know, everything wants to itch on you. You can't move your arm. You're not supposed to move at all. My back starts to hurt a little bit. My fingers are going like numb. So I'm trying to wiggle my fingers and toes. I want to adjust my neck and rotate because it's the way you're sitting and you can't, you're not supposed to do any of that. So at one point, I remember telling myself, Portia, just calm down and just go back to what you were doing before because I, I must have been asleep because when I woke up or kind of, kind of became aware I was like oh you know I can't move and so that was terrifying if I'm honest and so um about 15 minutes left and I started like saying hey can anybody hear me I was ready to get out of that stupid thing so the tech comes in he's like hey I'm just adjusting where your camera is I was like, oh darn, that's it. So we adjust the camera, we go back in for maybe like 12 more minutes. Breathe in, breathe out, hold breath. Breathe in, breathe out, hold breath. That continues to happen. And um, he finally lets me out. <laughs> he pulls the thing out where it comes, slides out. The thing you're sitting on moves forward and backwards. So it, he goes, that was one of the longer sessions. Typically they're not that long. And he says, it's because of what they're trying to get images of for you, they have to have more. And so, because my fibroids are large and where they are, they have moved up. And so, at first, the camera was sitting, like, higher on my abdomen. And then, they moved it further down on my uterus the second go around. That's when the contrast went in. And they said it takes 25 seconds for the contrast leaving the port in your arm um, and making its way to your uterus. 25 seconds. And you could feel it. So, he says, hey, the contrast is going to go in now. And I feel it get cold. And I feel it going in or whatever. Um, but all in all, it was really intense. Like, honestly, I wish somebody would have prepared me for that. I've not seen many or any videos on those parts with this part. Like I said, I did not know I was going to have to have contrast. I didn't know I was going to have to have a shot. Um, and so that's that. It's time to get dressed.